I wanted to talk a little bit about fillers today because one thing I'm seeing a lot in clinic is patients coming in saying their filler has migrated. Okay, here are the facts. Fillers do not usually migrate. It's really, really, really rare to see a filler migrate. They are a thick, viscous gel that's injected into the skin in a certain area. And for it to actually move to another area is really difficult for it to do. So filler migration, although it's being labeled and seen a lot in clinic, it's not classically a filler migration. What is happening? One, it's not being injected correctly. If you put filler in the wrong place, it's gonna be, it's not gonna look right. Now, one thing I'm seeing a lot of, and I don't know why people are doing this, is when um, they're having their lips filled, that they're having the filler all above the lip. I don't get that. If you want the lips filled, you put the filler in the lip. If you want a little bit of filler around the border, you put a very uh, minute, fine slither to define the border of the lip. If you put too much in of a thick filler in that border area, it's gonna spread into the top lip. That is definitely not a good look. So that is not filler migration, that is just bad treatment. The other thing which I think is really important is the amount of people that are told to massage their fillers once they've been done. Don't touch your filler if it's done correctly. As a practitioner, it's our job to get the filler right for you. When we inject the filler, we massage and shape it and make sure it's in the right place and it's nice and smooth. And more importantly, there's no lumps and bumps. You should not be going home with lumps. If you're going home with lumps and told to massage, the filler has not been done correctly. If you are massaging your filler, however, as soon as it's been done, the chances are you're gonna push it into other areas. So it's gonna migrate because you're pushing it away from where it should be. So the two things regarding filler migration. One, make sure that you're not leaving the clinic with lumps and bumps. It's the practitioner's job to get it right and get it smooth. If you are being told to massage the filler, it's not been done correctly. And if you have lumps and bumps when you leave your clinic, it's definitely not been done correctly. The other thing to mention also is the quality of the filler. There are a lot of fillers on the market today and there are a lot of cheap ones which are rubbish. There's a lot of mid-priced ones and more expensive fillers which are good. So it depends on the quality of the filler as well. It's hard to know what people are using because as I said, when prices are cheap, they're usually cheap for a reason. One, a cheap filler is being used and two, the practitioner perhaps doesn't have very much experience. So in my opinion, it's your face. Consider who's doing the treatment, consider the filler that's being used and consider the price just because it's cheap doesn't mean to say it's gonna be good.